I had a dude come up to me in my face and he's like, don't slam the weight. I'm like, what, you want me to do a weighted crunch to get him up? What is up everyone, it's Russo. I hope everyone is doing well. People don't like how I say well, Andrew. They don't like the well, so I just said it again. You'll probably get more dislikes on this vid. ASMR SIP 1907. Coupon code Russo, ASMR Spritz, Intelligent Elephant Carbon, Young LA, there's all the plugs. Today I'm going to be reacting to Roid Rager threatens to stab me for deadlifting too loud. So I'm a Roid user myself. I've never raged once on someone doing powerlifting in a gym. I'm excited to see, you know, the macho man, you know, yell at him. We'll see. So I've been yelled at for slamming weights before deadlifting and Again, all my power lifters watching know that, you know, doing constant tension, bodybuilding, deadlifting reps. Sure, that has some sort of place, you know, in powerlifting maybe, but as far as the type of reps that are really needed, it's like dead stop reps where, you know, lowering the weight down could theoretically cause injury, especially if you're, you know, around a triple five rep set where it's very heavy, very hard in your central nervous system. I don't want to have to worry and waste energy. Obviously, I'm not slamming it on the ground, but I'm just going to bring it down. It's going to be pretty loud. That's literally how powerlifting and Olympic lifting has always been. The juice head bodybuilder who doesn't understand that seems to want to get in this dude's face immediately. So let's continue the rage. So I've like completely related to this. I've had altercations exactly like this, especially when I would do um, decline dumbbells. When I would do decline dumbbells by myself and I was using dumbbells that weren't rubber, there's no way to get them down without just like plopping them down. And I had a dude come up to me in my face and he's like, don't slam the weight. I'm like, what, you want me to do a weighted crunch to get them up? These delusional people have these rules in their head that they want to push on you. And to relate directly to this guy, I was deadlifting in what I thought was a hardcore gym where three old guys snitched on me for the owner to come over and tell me to stop slamming the weights to where I told him it's ridiculous that you have bumper plates and I can't deadlift like a normal person. At the end, we met up when the old people left. He's like, oh, I'm so sorry, bro. Those are some of our older, you know, customers. And, you know, I just had to show them. And I'm like, dude, I ain't ever coming here again. You can't yell at someone for pushing themselves in the gym. It's ridiculous. As long as you're not breaking the machine or breaking the floor and you can specifically see this guy is using bumper plates on an actual gym floor. It's just kind of ludicrous that this guy, again, wants to trend rage on him for deadlifting like a normal power lifter. And this is shit that power lifters run into in every commercial gym. It's as if they've never seen power lifting before. <laughs> You can always tell it's a pussy, Andrew, when they threaten to, again, get strapped up. Anytime I want to fight someone, all of a sudden we need guns. Why? And it's the same thing with the knife, right? You know, if you want to do trial by combat, which I was telling Andrew about trial by combat, in certain states in the United States, it's completely legal to fight. For example, in Texas or Washington state, if me and another dude have an issue and we're both men about it, we both literally say trial by combat and that's a completely legal fight. The fact this guy needs a knife when he's like twice the size of the other dude, he's gonna stab him like straight fucking beta ass pussy energy coming out of his mouth when he's the one going off. Let's go see the part two. Apparently there was a part two where like you'll have your like gym rival that comes in on the floor and like this fucking feud builds up over time and you guys refuse to like quit the gym. So apparently there's a part two that was released nine days ago by the same guy. Meaning this video was over a year old and this feud is still going on and no one got canceled or nothing. Dude, hey, if you want to go to somewhere quiet, go to a fucking library. Like, is this the 
It honestly doesn't matter it's not a powerlifting gym. He's using bumper plates on a gym floor. Nothing is being damaged whatsoever. It's just kind of comical. All right, yeah, to conclude, this has been going on forever. I wish, like, Andrew, when you join a commercial gym, like, you gotta get taught, like, hey, like, deadlifting like that's normal and safe. All the top power lifters in the world deadlift like that for safety. It's not that they're being a douche. They just don't want to fucking blow their back out, lowering down the weight after doing eight reps with a weight that's hard for them. So again, keep that in mind when you see someone deadlifting in a commercial gym, you don't need to stare at them for slamming the weight. It's no big fucking deal. You should be happy they're pulling, lighting that fire off in the gym for you to feed off of. Not do this beta ass pussy shit, or at least don't threaten to pull out knives when you're the one who wants to fight. I'll see you guys in my next video.